okay yeah oh oh my god it still stinks but it's such a good product hi loggies how are you i'm ready to do this comparison <laughs> i know i'm supposed to do like some little fancy intro I only received the Milani um, Glow Hydrating Skin Tint in 310 Medium to Dark. And it has squalene in it, the same percentage that Wet n Wild has. And I've already tested Wet n Wild. Um, it's a good dupe, I think, for Fenty Skin Tint. Um, but it has a smell. So we're going to see what this one is like. I got it in the mail um, from Target. And they put this big old Target sticker on it. And I tried to take it off and now it's all, ugh. So it doesn't look like this when you buy it from the store, but this is my bottle. Both of them have a lot of the same stuff. This whole squalene and these skin tints, I love it because the outer perimeter of my face is dry, if you don't know, and my T-zone is oily. So I guess you would say I'm combination skin. And so anything that's gonna keep the moisture in my skin is, I'm here for it. If you hydrate your face really good before doing your makeup, then your oil should stay more in control. But who am I kidding? We know that oil is disrespectful. Like it's gonna come through. But we're just trying to make her happy so she doesn't overdo it, okay? A little bit of shine versus a lot of shine. There's a difference. In color, these look different. Do they look different to you? The Milani looks darker. So we're gonna try it out. As you can see, I already completed my eyes. Um, just a little, little bronzy moment. Okay, so let's primer our face. I do not have the perfect primer yet. I'm still looking for a primer. So if you have any suggestions that you like, especially if you have combo skin, so a primer that's really moisture, moisturizing and hydrating um, will be good for me. I just learned this year at the age of 31 that you're not supposed to put a foundation underneath your eyes, apparently. Has anybody else heard that? <laughs> okay, face is primed. So now we're gonna put on our Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. I want to cover this. I have a lot of um, chin acne scars. My freckles, I don't wanna cover though. So I'm so wishy-washy, like I wanna cover my little spots here and there, but I don't wanna cover my freckles. <laughs> yeah oh oh my god it still stinks but it's such a good product after it dries down it doesn't stink anymore that's still there the chin it's kind of muted but it's still there mm. still a second layer So uh, it feels very lightweight, even though I put on two layers. This is sheer to medium coverage. So, um, you know, you can, it is buildable, but I don't think it will ever be full coverage, which is what I'm kind of looking for, I guess, when I'm saying I want my scars to be, to be covered. Okay, so now we're gonna try the Milani Glow in 310. Let's, I like coconut. It does say it's infused with electrolyte coconut water blend. Hmm. Okay, I like coconut. But will she cover? I'm trying to see. Okay. Make sure I have some scars for her to cover too. It definitely looks more orange. Okay. I was trying to put enough on for two layers. Milani smells good. If you like coconuts, like coconut candles, coconut <laughs> body wash or body scrubs, it smells good. It smells just like that. Like seriously, it smells so good. Um, but if it does not perform as well, I'm the type of person that will take the smell of Wet n Wild with its performance if Milani does not perform well. So even though I'm like, oh my God, it smells so good. I'm like, okay. 
but will it last? How is it gonna last? It doesn't matter if it smells good and the product sucks. We're gonna continue with the face routine. Everything is normal. The only thing that has changed is now I have two different tints on my face, <laughs> but we're going to um, highlight, contour, powder, all that good stuff. Okay, so this is the final look for today. I'm not doing anything today. I'm just staying at home. Um, so I'll just check in with you. We'll do an eight hour test. So in a couple of hours, um, it's one o'clock. And so what, I'll check in at 5 p.m. and then check in again about nine o'clock. I'm actually gonna turn off my ring light so you can see me in natural lighting. Hello, hello. Um, let me go in front of my window. So this is what she's looking like in natural lighting. I tried to even out both sides as much as possible. Um, I'm trying to look at myself in the camera, in the viewfinder. Okay, no, we will not have a lot of demarcation for this lip. Try something new with highlighter on my lip, but so this is what she's looking like. Uh, this is me in natural lighting, no filter, and I'll check back with you in four hours. Okay, Glowdies, this is the four hour update. And as you can see, both sides look great. Um, the only thing I can say about these products is that they're both absolutely wonderful. Um, the wet and wild feels like skin. You can't feel it at all, but this Milani feels like a skincare. It literally feels like a moisturizing um, serum that you would put on like during a skincare routine. So it just depends on what you would like. Do you want to feel like it's not there? Or do you want to feel hydrated? And both have their pros and both have their cons. It's, it's really up to you. But um, thanks for coming with me as I tested out these two products. My acne scars have not come through. This is awesome. Let me show you a natural light. And this is what I look like in natural light. I actually like it better. Natural light is so great. Just. Hey, so it is a nine o'clock, 9.15 to be exact. And um, I fell asleep. I took like a 20 minute nap and it felt kind of good. <laughs> But now I'm ready to uh, go to bed. I'm so tired. Um, but this is my face, so no touch-ups. It is now dark outside, so now no natural light uh, shot. But as you can see, both sides help their own. Um, I can get some blotting paper and go ahead and touch up and, and see what it looks like. They look and feel very close. Well, Lord Jesus, that is it for today. Remember, you are more than enough and you should be your own dream girl. Spiritually, physically, and mentally, that is what we're doing here, one level up at a time. And until next time, I love you.